Hi, I'm Greg Fell, Director of Public Health for Sheffield. This is a situation report and update for the week commencing 2nd of the 11th. So firstly, epidemiology, um, still flat, um, pretty much as it was last week, going down a bit. Rates are now a good bit below 400, 100,000. Um, probably the impact of half term, um, I'd expect it to, to, to oscillate over a period and I've, I've commented on that before and I don't think that pattern will change for the rest of the winter, uh, rest of the autumn and winter now. Um, still mostly secondary school age, um, uh, there's a tricky thing around um, the, the, the numbers in the secondary school age cohort are high but the harm is low. Um, still some bleed, bleed through into parent age and still some slow growth in the over 60s which is, which is obviously a concern. That said, they're a fairly well vaccinated group. Um, so uh, the over 60s are also going up because there's probably more mixing in that age group. And as I say, there's some impact from waning. Um, hospitals remain exceptionally busy. Um, and I say hospitals, it's not just hospitals. The health and social care system is exceptionally busy. Um, not just COVID, but it's all of the other stuff that's also going on. Um, so, uh, uh, and there's a sort of a gentle rise in admissions on account of COVID. Um, and there's also people being found with COVID in hospital, therefore something else. Um, so the continued pressure on hospitals um, will be there for sadly some time to come. And all we can do to reduce that, the better. Um, it matters because if hospitals are busy correctly providing good quality care for those people with a respiratory infection, care for somebody else for a hip, hip operation or a cataract operation is going to get delayed and that comes with consequences so it's important that we do all we can to keep the pressure off the NHS and social care system. Um, so um, but then I think that the, the level of pressure in that space is, is unprecedented. Why? Um, Behaviours are pretty much closer to, to pre-pandemic as, as they ever were. Um, mixing patterns um, for children are definitely pre-pandemic levels, for adults a little bit lower. Um, the mood music of it's all over now um, is not helping. Um, we all want it to be all over and we all want to be back to normal, but sadly there's a lot of COVID around and still some people are being made quite, poor, being made quite poorly from it. So um, some thoughts on the future. Um, as I say, the, N the NHS and social care system is in a very, very difficult position. They're in, they're in the depths of winter type of phase now and depths of winter in a bad flu year. Flu hasn't even started yet and I'll comment on flu in a bit. So um, th this matters because of the delays to, to care that will happen on account of NHS and social care being busy managing respiratory infections um, and the other stuff that happens in winter. So um, the, the, it, does, it does matter um, that, that we do what we can to reduce the pressure in the NHS. Um, uncertain how it will play out over the next couple of months. Um, probably not a big spike as we have seen because we've got fairly high degree of residual immunity within the population, obviously very, very large proportion of the population fully vaccinated now. So probably not a big spike and what we're not seeing is um, high levels of harm associated with the high rates of infection, which is obviously good news. So I don't think we'll be back to the January 2020, 2021 style. Flu, I think it will be a bad flu year this year. All of the predictions are it will be a bad flu year. Um, social distancing measures over the last 18 months effectively wiped flu out last, uh, last year. Um, uh, but so we've got less immunity um, uh, and there's some commentary that this year's strain is shaping up to be quite a virulent strain uh, message get your flu jab because flu jabs make a difference and again it's one of those things that we can all do that um, that, that, that will uh, one help us because I have flu once it's horrible I wouldn't wish it on anybody but also help everybody else um, if you have flu-like symptoms um, um, even if it turns out to be the, the common cold you should stay at home. The last thing we want to do is be spreading respiratory viruses around at this, at this time of year. So um, um, I think it will be a difficult winter and there's probably not much that we can do to avoid that, but we can mitigate it and we can, we can limit some of, some of the harm. Um, plan B um, isn't yet in place. I don't know whether Plan B will happen. Um, as I said last week, it's likely to be a combination of uh, mandatory face mask use working from home, which is the thing that will probably have mo the, the biggest impact, and that's to do with social contacts and then vaccine, vaccine passports. Don't know if or when it will happen, nor the threshold for that. Um, but um, many of us, m many will want to avoid it and we know what we need to do to avoid it. 
Vaccines, um, again, largely as I've reported before, um, the rate of uh, jab one and jab two has is, is now slowed. That uh, We've probably got as much as we're going to get there, and I'll come back to that. Um, compared to many of the other core cities, we're still doing quite well, So, uh, and that's good news. There's still a gap between the east and the west um, of the city. There's still a gap between uh, white populations and black and minority ethnic populations. Um, so we, you know, we still need to do some work in, in that space and are doing that work. Um, the program for um, 12 to 15 continues. It's a school-based program and we're looking to increase the number of available appointments as soon as possible. But still, our school vaccination teams are working incredibly hard to get around all of the schools in city, all of the schools in the city, and they will be doing that as soon as they possibly can. Um, the booster roll the booster rollout is happening. Um, it, it, the, currently 10% of those eligible have taken up their offer. Um, boosters matter. Um, because of the possibility of waning immunity. Um, it probably matters most in the oldest population because they're furthest out from dose two and, and may have had a, a less good immune response first time. So when you get your, um, when you get your text, it's really, really, really important that you book your, um, book, book, book your appointment to get a booster jab. Um, uh, pl pl please do it because again, it makes a difference. But by far, the most important thing in the space of vaccination is dose one and two. If you haven't already had it, um, and there are still lots of us that haven't had it, um, the, that's the thing that will really make a difference. And that's the thing I worry most about because there's still a lot of COVID out there and it will find people that have been vaccinated. And those of you that have had COVID, which are plenty of you now, know that it's a horrible illness and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So um, the, la lastly, the, the sort of the, 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 the interventions and the messaging from me, from me going forward, um, I'm in stuck record territory here. You know what I'm going to say, hand space, space, ventilate, vaccinate, etc. Um, I, I know that there's little adherence to face masks. Um, you, you can see it. You walk up and down, just been up and down the moor, um, and you can see it. Um, those things have worked and they protect us. There's no two ways about that. And I'd encourage you all to wear a face mask, particularly in closed public spaces. Um, vaccination, I've talked a lot about. And again, as I say, the most important thing is if you haven't had those one and two, please do. Um, a particular point on pregnancy, um, a fair amount of traffic in my inbox that, that, that pregnant mums are, are worried about side effects. These are safe and effective medicines and they work and there are unvaccinated people who do, unvaccinated pregnant women who do end up in hospital. Um, that's, not, that's something that we don't want. Um, I'd encourage you to talk to your midwife um, and I'd encourage you to, 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 to get vaccinated if you're pregnant as soon as possible. Um, the other stuff, um, t testing if you're symptomatic, get a PCR test and then isolate. Um, actually, if you've got flu-like symptoms, we're coming into flu season now, and if you've got flu-like symptoms or the horrible cold that's going around at the moment, I've had it, I wouldn't wish it on anybody, um, stay at home, don't spread those viruses at work. Um, ventilation, uh, washing hands, uh, and work from home if you can. It's important that we reduce contacts and those things have made a difference. But some of those fundamentals haven't changed and aren't going to change anytime in the near future.